I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Tyra. I'm so excited. And that's Jay. I'm, I'm Jay. Oh, it's been so long. <laughs> We are we play the Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh -huh. I have questions. I am going to Inquisition people. I need to see dragons. I need to see them now because I have seen no dragons as of yet. It's going to be a long time till you see a dragon, babe. How dare you? I'm just saying. It's called Dragon Age. Yeah, and this one actually has dragons in it. What? There are some that don't even have any. That's not in fair. There? They the others did have a dragon in it. I'm connecting to the servers. Just one, though. Just one dragon. One dragon? In each of the other ones, yeah. Oh, but this has multiple dragons. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. 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 Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Rogues deal massive damage, but are fragile. Attempt to outwit your enemy with abilities such as stealth and leaping shot. Leaping shot! Which is job? Just take a leap! Leaping shot! Very quiet. Yeah, <laughs> randomly quiet, yeah. Where were you? Oh, you're right. Well, I'm about to go out into a crowd yeah. of adoring fans yeah, you are. who all love me. Yeah, they do. Look at that. He. <laughs> The threat remains. Find Cassandra <laughs> in the Shantry. Cassandra. Cassandra. Cassandra doesn't even trust me. Let's see who else that does. That might have changed. Tr Good. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, they don't want to talk. Hello. What? Bum bum bum. She came out of the <laughs> no talk to me, guys. I'm lonely. Ooh. I thought Seekers knew everything. Who's talking? Oh, just randos in the crowd. Do you see them? Y no. They sound like the same people. No, well, they're definitely over here somewhere. Of okay, alright. Uh, this is not what I was expecting, so I'm gonna start <laughs> looting your place, I guess. I'm looking for tiny white letters, which means that I can do things. You know what we forgot to do mm -hmm. is um, we forgot to turn the light off and do the backlight. So now uh, if I'm actually looking for white lettering, everything has like the, the glare of the ceiling light. I'll help you, sweetie. You're going to help me? It's going to be okay. Can't get over there. Can I run? I can't run. Running is for winners. I think that is your run. Hold on. Uh, press and hold, like, press the this button. The thumbstick. Oh, the nope. That's that. That's my, uh, That is your run. Sensing. That's why you get a horsey. Oh, I get a horsey. Oh, my God, guys. None of them want to talk to me. They just want to talk about me. True. It's, put to, it's just to give you a, a background, backstory. Don't you all have jobs? Go away. Um, I mean... More than likely, like all their places have been destroyed, so probably Ooh, not. There are no. plenty of places here. I'm just and saying that just means there's more work to be done. Okay, and all of these houses are probably empty, huh? Ooh, Whoa, look at that! Look at the quality of that. You can tell that it's like an oil painting. Mm -hmm. That's wicked cool. It is. There's nothing here. <gasps> Books. Let's spend the next five hours reading books. <laughs> it's just Skyrim all over again. Codex unlocked. The Randy Dowager Quarterly. A well-worn quarterly missive of suspect virtue. Ooh. The Randy Dowager welcomes the cool of autumn with the fall of another. <laughs> the collected dreams of desire. Being the confessions of an apprentice in training more... Furrowing, then harrowing. Forbidden dalliances at their most spirited. The Randy Dowager exhibitions for the noble of thought, but spry of step. The lady herself says, Enchanting! One supports the circles, but <laughs> if only because closed doors offer the 
imagination more. Three scarves fluttered in shock out of five. R.D. Oh, I forgot that's like your, your British accent. That's not my British accent. <laughs> I was just going to do, I was trying to make a funny. Oh, okay. I was trying to be funny. <laughs> okay. From you and me and people. All of the subscribers, so many subscribe. We gotta gotta make the funnies for them. You know these <laughs> oil paintings. Was I already over here? Yes. Which way have I not been? To the left. All right. She's oh, she's probably in the castle. Isn't that where I just came from? Nope. You made a beeline to the right. This is to the left. You were going this way, but then you made a beeline to the right. All right. So she's probably in here. Yeah. Yeah bunch of gossips bunch of gossips she's uh probably at the end of this this really isn't like a <gasps> a chant for the departed the light shall lead her safely through the path of the world and into the next for she who trusts in the maker fire is her water as the moth sees light and goes towards the flame she should see fire and go toward light the veil holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the Maker shall be her beacon, and her shield, and her foundation, and her sword, and Transfigurations 10-1, often sung by mariners as they light candles. Oh, I did it wrong. I have to sing this. The light shall lead her safely. I've been to church. I know how to sing church songs. She's probably in this side chamber. Where is this woman? If she doesn't trust me, like, she's not in the basement. What's uh, she gonna do in the basement? Do you remember that thing I, I showed you? How to, like, find items and stuff? Yeah. I'm finding so many items. Cool. Read this one for me. Cool, cool, cool. Founding of the Chantry. Chantry! Cordelius Draken, <laughs> king of the city-state of Orlay was a man of uncommon ambition. In the year 15 ancient, the young king began construction of a great temple dedicated to the maker and declared that by its completion, he would not only have united the warring city-states of the south, he would have brought Andrastian belief to the world. In negative three ancient, whatever, <laughs> the temple was completed. There, in its heart, Draken knelt before the eternal flame of Andraste and was crowned ruler of the Empire of Orlais. His first act as emperor, to declare the Chantry as the established Andrastean religion of the Empire. Okay. It took three years and several hundred votes before Oles Olesia, <laughs> Olesa of Mon Monsimard was elected to lead the new Chantry. Upon her coronation as divine, she took the name Justinia in honor of the disciple who recorded Andraste's songs. In that moment, the ancient era ended and the divine age began. From Ferelden Folklore and History by Sister Petrine Chantry Scholar. Sassy. So there's definitely something over and here. You just she says so. Well, I haven't done my <laughs> thing to test to find the thingies. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's much easier to see. Stealing from the church. Stealing from the church. <laughs> the divine is the titular <laughs> head of the chantry. Although since the schism split the imperial chantry into two, into its own faction, there are now in fact two divines at any one time. <gasps> One divine, informally called the White Divine, is a woman housed in the Grand Cathedral in Valroyex. Rio. Rio. Rolodex. The other, known as the Black Divine, is a man housed in the Argent Spire of Minestrel. <laughs> Neither divine recognizes the existence of the other. What? And the informal names are considered sacrilegious oh my goodness no matter the gender a divine is addressed as most holy or your perfection your perfectionness beneath the rank of divine is the grand cleric oh 
God, this is so interesting. Uh, I'm going to read it later. <sighs> <laughs> you don't have keys yet. And you don't have lock picking. Well, you don't know. I, I jumped a foot in the air. I've tried so hard to open that. <laughs> did you see that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, question. Is she in the basement or am I legit here and I should Oh, you're not... just legit there. You don't <sighs> have to be. You can only do this when you have a rogue. Yeah, because you're a mage. Let me out of here. Oh my god. Can I... I really cannot walk any faster. Why is the lamp <laughs> right at my face? Because you're abnormally tall what for these peasant that? humanoids. I'm not abnormally tall for the door. <laughs> Thank god. She's probably where they're talking. To be tried by whomever becomes divine. I do not believe she is guilty. The Konari failed. She's definitely in here. <laughs> the in the sky. I found For her. For all you know, she intended it this way. I do not believe that. All right, that's enough of that gossip. Guys, listen. I'm here. Chain her. I want her prepared to travel to the capital. Boom. The you can't do that. I'm Harry you Potter. That and leave us. Oh, we all know who's in charge. Oh, is stable, but he is still a threat. I will not ignore it. Badass. Listen, guys, I'm biggest. So let's do what I say. The breach is stable, but it is still a threat. I will not ignore it. I did what I could. Oh, yeah, let's just give up. I'm still a suspect. I want you want my help again. Uh, I'm still a suspect. So I'm still a suspect, even after what we just did. You absolutely are. Well, I think no, you're mean. You're not. Yes. Someone was behind the explosion at the conclave. Someone most holy did not expect. Awesome. Perhaps they died with the others, or have allies who yet live. She I has yellow eyeshadow suspect. on. Yes, she does. And many others. But not the prisoner. Do you think they have the makeup in, the temple, in this world? The calls to her for um, or she's got like legit turmeric root on her eyes. <laughs> yeah, I think they have like blushes and stuff. Providence. Uh. The maker sends her to us in our dark. I mean, look at Cassandra there. I mean, I mean, look at you. I mean, what, that's that. <laughs> that is my helmet, <laughs> and I love it. I was just talking about your eyes, but like that's fine too. Oh, my eyes. That's my Jessica Jones overworked kind of. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want from me? You believe I'm innocent. I hate all of these choices. Are you serious? I am not the chosen one. Are you sure? Providence, the Maker sent her to us in our darkest hour. The Maker sent us. I'm sent by God. Uh, I'm not the chosen one, guy. I'm Kunari. I have not forgotten. No what? what? Cassandra are, slightly what disapproves. You are what? Exactly what we needed when we needed that doesn't mean I'm God sent. You didn't have to say that you're God sent. That's what I literally said, though. You could have just been like, are you sure? For you to decide. I'm not dumb. I'm not going to be there like, are you, know you sure about that? Answer. I'm not sure. Really? I'm not saying you're dumb. I'm just saying that Cassandra's very, no, very that's like religious. A, it's a dumb answer, you know? I declare the Inquisition reborn. Yeah! Breach, we will find those responsible and we will restore order with or without your approval. <laughs> We're going to be asking questions, taking names. This is the Divine's directive. Rebuild the Inquisition of old. Find those who will stand against the chaos. What? We aren't ready. We have no leader. No numbers. And now, no chantry support. We have we two have ladies support. in pants. I think we're going to be okay. With you at our side. Tell me of this Inquisition. What is the Inquisition of old, exactly? It preceded the chantry. People who banded together to restore order in a world gone mad. Ask us. They laid down their banner and formed the Templar Order. But the Templars have lost their way. We need those who can do what must be done, united under a single banner once more. 
Uh, okay, so if you ask an investigation question, uh, go back real quick. And then if something pops up on the left up, that means that uh, you can say something to that thing that they just told you. And I'll still come back to this page? And you'll still come back to this page, yes. Uh, but aren't you still part of the Chantry? <laughs> Is that what you seek? The Chantry will take time to find a new divine. And then it will wait for her direction. But we cannot wait. So many grand clerics died. Is the audio day. off? No, we are on our own. Perhaps forever. Uh, no? I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I hear the audio off from, like, their voices just, like, a, a little bit, like how we fixed it last time. Well, I think that's because, like, you're you're plugged in directly to that box, and the box is what's off. You're mm. trying to start a holy war. We are already at war. You are already involved. Its mark is upon you. As to whether the war is holy... That depends on what we discover. And if I refuse? <laughs> uh, oh, I was just, it was just more of an investigation, sweetie. You don't have to choose it. <laughs> choices, 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 choices. I'm going to help. It's what else am I doing? Trying to restore Slightly approves. <laughs> That's all that matters in this game. This is literally just a dating simulator, I swear to God. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what all of these are. Especially what? Mass Effect. Mass Effect is literally just a dating simulator for all the hot oh, aliens out there, I swear. No. Well, you can actually hook up with people in Mass Effect. Yeah, you can do that here too. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We're we're at a holy war. And? You got a time? No. <laughs> Who's that lady? She's the bestest. Dragon Age questions. Questions and answers. Sending out all the questions. Ladies are in charge. This guy gets to help. He's funny. <laughs> Not very funny. Just normal funny. Likeable. Oh wow, look it's raining. Oh pretty! Oh, I like it. Man, I wish our place looked more like that. <laughs> Living in the castle? Yeah, we should just go over there. Okay. Mm <laughs> Love the eyes. Oh, he mad. I didn't see, he looked concerned. I didn't see any like expression. Oh, he face. looked concerned at first and he's like, no, I don't like this. And he walked away. Yeah, Cassandra, you walk fast. <laughs> she can walk faster. <laughs> this woman like sleeps in her breastplate. <laughs> she, she never like, takes it she off. She absolutely does. Oh, you got new threads. I did? I think? I don't know, you look good. Ba -ba boom <laughs> It looked like a tongue. I, I was like, what is this unfurling? <laughs> I think we should be asking less questions and ba -ba -boom. just closing things more. Oh, no, but they're right. That's Dragon not gonna stop Inquisition. like why it happened. <gasps> hey, we got the title screen. There's a eyeball over here. What is the eyeball for? Eyeball? Yeah, on the mini map. Oh, that means the, the main quest or whatever quest you're tracking is there. Okay. I have food that I cannot jump inside of. Uh, or is that over here? Hello, you. No schematics. Well, I didn't want to talk to you anyway. Where are I, you going? I'm talking to the people. All right. Hey. Don't have a day job either. Are you holding up all right? I mean, you go from being the most wanted criminal in Thetis to joining the armies of the faithful. Most people would have spread that out over more than one day. This is all bullshit. I'm not holding up at all. I'm just 
I still can't believe you survived Cassandra. I still can't believe you don't know how to button up your shirt in the winter. <laughs> For days now, we've He's a sexy dwarf. It's cold. He refuses. <laughs> Bad for morale would be an understatement. I still can't believe anyone was in there and lived. Yeah, I agree, man. I'm still not sure I believe any of this is really happening. I love it. You're going to be like a neutral this character. Is all just a maker winding us up. I hope there's a damn good punchline coming. You might want to consider running at the first opportunity. I've written enough tragedies to recognize where this is going. Heroes are everywhere. He's a writer? I've seen that. But the hole in the sky. He's a storyteller. That's Oh, well, that would explain why he's half dressed. We're going Like he has to like Slut. catch the babe somehow, right? Let me tell <laughs> you a story. Storyteller. Can I jump? You can, but you can't latch onto things. Ah! All right, fine. I'll find another way up. Using t my tenacity. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh no! Keep running. Run, 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 run. I hope this is a slight yeah, that incline. that totally helped you, right? What? <laughs> Putting on, like, the backlight, it totally helped you figure out where the lootables were. <laughs> what? You saw lootables? <laughs> you said you were going to help me. Oh, I did. Everything did is covered in white. To what? your right. Up and to your right. Why are you turning around? I'm going up. No. Up. Up, there's a no. incline. When I say up, I mean forward, and, and I you know it. Turn to the right. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, thank God, something to read. Will you read it for me, baby? No. Let's, <laughs> let's go get the loot that you actually need. Wait, no. Okay, wait. The singing made it. Hey, babe. Hmm? Have you um ever heard the story of King Bedwire? Nope. Bedwire. Let me tell you, like most kings, was a man of great pride who expected nothing but complete loyalty from his subjects. He believed the very best way to achieve this was through fear. After all, those who feared him would never cross him or question his rule. Most importantly, those who feared him would always seek to please him. Bedwire cultivated terror in his subordinates through the gleeful and unrestrained use of contraptions feared he referred to as the maiden. The maiden was a hinged iron casket that's high and wide, deep as a man with vicious spikes with it. What? And, oh God, oh. Meant to pierce through the porch so locked into it, Bedwire's maiden was a prized possession and stood in place of honor of his throne room. Ooh, often with a screaming victim inside it. Oh, God. Political rivals suspected assassins, treasonous ministers, and made the maiden consumed them all. But as time passed, more people were given to the maiden for increasingly trivial, trivial offenses. The cook oversalted the king's food, the page boy for dropping his sword. The maiden cast a pall over the kingdom, and its people prayed for deliverance from their cruel king. Then, one day, a strange woman rode into the city. She called herself Ember, and was an emissary from a far-off land. Her leaders had heard, she said, of Bedwire's wisdom and authority, and she sought the king's counsel. The thought that he had earned the adulation of Brother kings, brother kings, <laughs> sister wives, brother kings, across the sea made Bedwire swell with ew, pride, and he granted Ember an audience. They dined and danced, and through it all, Ember flattered and fawned on the king. At the end of the night, Ember asked to see the maiden, the infamous, 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 infamous the famous infamous device that had given Bedwire all his power. The king, giddy with praise, proudly presented Ember with the empty contraption. Ember looked at the maiden, sighed with disappointment, and said, that does not look terrifying at all. 
I should have imagined the spikes to be much sharper. Bad, bad wire grew red at her comment and replied, The spikes are sharp enough. Look at the blood that still clings to them. But it is so small, said Ember. Are only children and women its victims? Bedwire grew redder still and replied, Of course not. The maiden has devoured many men. <laughs> Ember shook her head and said to the king, I do not believe it. Surely no warrior could fear this thing. A man like yourself, tall and muscled, would not fit within. The king laughed and, oh, I know where this is going. <laughs> saw a way to prove the merit of the maiden to Ember. I will show you how easily a man like myself could fit, he said, and with that he stepped into the device. But Ember was waiting, and no sooner had Bedwire squeezed himself into the iron casket that Ember, Ember slammed it shut on him. Ember took the maiden within the, with the screaming Bedwire inside, through the castle, and down into the city, and the people, finally free from the king's tyranny, cheer and danced to the singing that echoed through the streets until Bedwire was dead and it finally stopped. Wow. Well, I definitely was not expecting that. All right, where's the loot, sweetie? Keep going. Right there. Literally says loot. Wow. That might haunt me. That might haunt me in my dreams. It's gonna be okay, sweetie. I'm snuggled up. Ready for bed. Let's get the show on a road. Let's road the show on the hoed. Let's show this road. Man, I'm tall. <laughs> Does it trouble you? Only when I sneeze. Where does it come from? I just wish I knew what it was or how I got it. We will find out. When What's we ask our questions. Is the mark is now stable, as is the breach. You've given us time, and Solas believes a second attempt might succeed. Provided the mark has more power. The same oh, level of no. power used to open the breach in the first place. That is not easy to come by. Nobody expects the Dragon Inquisition. Sounds like fun. You have an idea. You have an idea? Clearly, you have something in mind. We do. Okay. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Fluffy. May I present Commander Cullen, leader of the Inquisition forces. You may. Such as they are. We lost many soldiers in the valley, and I fear many more before this is through. This is Lady Josephine Montelier, our ambassador and chief diplomat. Hello. You're even taller than I thought. <laughs> of course, you know Sister Liliana. My position here involves a degree of... She is our spy master. <gasps> yes, tactfully put, Cassandra. You don't say that out loud. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleased to meet you all. I mentioned that your mark needs more power to close the breach for good. Yes, you did. Which means we must approach the rebel mages for help. And I still disagree. The Templars could serve just as well. We need power, Commander. Enough magic poured into that mark might destroy us all. Templars could suppress the breach, weaken it, so... Pure speculation. I was a Templar. So is the hand idea. What they're capable of. Unfortunately, neither group will even speak to us yet. The Chantry has denounced the Inquisition, and you specifically. Thanks, Josephine. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Oh, because, like, I just like how bold she is. Oh. Like, I like that she doesn't squabble. She's, like, really hot. <laughs> she likes us. That didn't take long. Shouldn't they be busy arguing over who's going to become divine? Some are calling you, a Gunari, the Herald of Andraste. That frightens the Chantry. The remaining clerics have declared this blasphemy, 
and we heretics for harboring him. Chancellor Roderick's doing, no doubt. It limits our options. Approaching the Mages or Templars for help is currently out of the question. Yeah. Just how am I the herald of Andraste? People saw what you did at the temple, how you stopped the breach from growing. They have also heard about the woman seen in the rift when we first found you. They believe that was Andraste. Even if we tried to stop that view from spreading. Which we have not. The point is, everyone is talking about you. It's quite the title, isn't it? How do you feel about that? I'm not sure how I should feel. The Chantry has decided that for you, it seems. People are desperate for a sign of hope. For some, you're that sign. And to others, a symbol of everything that's gone wrong. They aren't more concerned about the breach, the real threat. They do know it's a threat, they just don't think we can stop it. The Chantry is telling everyone you'll make a cure. Mm. There is something you can do. A Chantry cleric by the name of Mother Giselle has asked to speak to you. She is not far and knows those involved far better than I. Her assistance could be invaluable. I'll talk to her. You got nothing else to do. Tending to the wounded in the hinterlands. Near hinterlands. Look for other opportunities to expand the Inquisition's influence while you're there. Hinterlands. Hinterlands. And you're better suited than anyone to recruit them. In the meantime, let's think of other options. I won't leave this all to the Herald. <laughs> Thanks, Cassandra. <gasps> it's a map. Operations. The war table allows you to apply the power of the Inquisition throughout all eyes. Orlai. The Mother Giselle is in the hinterlands, which can be found in the Ferelden side of the table. On Ferelden. <laughs> Is this how I fast travel? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, it is. War table. Explore through scouting. Perform scouting. Side of the table. I'm scouting. See, they're gonna give you stuff. To fit. Yeah, there you go. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try So you have one him. power, and that requires a cost of one to scout that area. So basically, it's just showing you how to do so when I, you start getting, like, when you start I populating can, more. I can only look at one place on the map? Just for right now, until you get more power. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. If Giselle dies, any hope the Chantry support <laughs> dies with her? No! So basically, these are the three options. You can either do... Uh, sometimes they're locked, other times they're not. Oh. It's just kind of like, um, it doesn't matter what you choose. It's just more of a, how would you look at the situation? Would you send in spies? Would you go more diplomatic? Would you go more brute force? Oh, fun. And that's how you can choose between, uh, you know, all of the other stuff that gets opened to you as you pass through the story. Oh my goodness. My scouts, my scouts, will slip past the fighting, find her, and protect her with their lives. Yeah, I'm, that's Liliana. That's the, the girl with the uh, weird accents you I'm said. I'm guessing that I'm going to be there, too. No, th so they, again, this is like kind of what they do to secure the area for you so that you can go in and do it. Oh. So it's just kind of like a cute little, like, oh, I get to know how that area was secured or how those things were, were given to me. Okay. Procured. Okay. They got animations for all the different things I could have chosen? no. This was just because it's a main quest. They basically showed you, like, this is how the scouts do it, you know? Oh. We sent a crow to the mother. 
She saw the crow and came over here. We and avoided then, fighting. Yeah. Uh, located the lady, protected her. She won't leave. Okay. Bent your fourth. I'm not doing anything else. And then you basically can grab all your people that you want. And those will grow over time. Yes. It's recommended you always take uh, people that uh, you need. Because you have three slots, you can, you can grab all three of these. But basically, you can grab um, a tank, a DPS... A tank and three DPSs. Um, you should oh. make one of the mages a healer, just so you don't die every single battle. Um, so basically, it's like a tank, a DPS, you, whatever you choose to be, and then a healer. Okay. It's often I suggest. Oh, okay. Those are in your codex if you ever want to go back and read them. What's gonna happen? So I didn't get to talk to the lady. What lady? Mother Teresa. <laughs> she basically is Mother Teresa. Everyone has. We know what you did. You're the best. They might not know much about the Canari, but you'll get no back talk from anyone here. You're awesome. Inquisition Scout oh. Harding at your service. I, well, all of us here, will do whatever we can to help. Harding, huh? Ever been to Kirkwall's High Town? I can't say I have. Why? You'd be Harding and I... No, never mind. Uh. <laughs> nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. We should get to business. The She's so short. Pretty She's a dwarf. Dire. How dare you? Came to secure horses How did you know she was a dwarf? Because she's abnormally <laughs> short. How dare <laughs> you? <laughs> Humans can be that short. <laughs> But with the Mage Templar Not in this universe. Work, That's a sumptuous. Not in this universe. We're assuming things. Still alive. Mother Giselle's at the crossroads helping refugees and the wounded. Our latest reports say that the war spread there too. Corporal Vale and our men are doing what they can to help protect the people, but they won't be able to hold out very long. You best get going. No time to lose. Also, a lot of these um, humanoid... Um, a lot of these humanoid uh, species can have um, viable offspring that are able to reproduce, which means they're not technically different species. Oh, that's fair. So, like, all of us are just people. That's fair. We're just classifying based off of who has horns and who's short. That's fair. Okay, so your left thingy there... Um... It won't always be on your screen. That tells you that there is level up you can do. And you can grab new skills. The little eyeball? No, the left side there. How those, like how you see everybody's health bar and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not usually there when you're just like out moseying around. So uh, that means that you can level them up somehow. What is this? This could help us. Thanks. Do you remember how to level up? Oh, I, I have to do that. Character record? Oh, gosh. Yeah, you got it. We each get one to do. Yes. Okay. It looks like you're going storm tree. You can go any tree you want. You can do, like, different things. Well, what's-his-face already has... Uh, he's got ice and something else. True. Yeah. So I am doing the Inferno and the Storm. That's and fair. And I've been doing Storm more because it is for more groups of, of people. Mm -hmm. So basically the big one is the actual talent and then the small one on the big one is the buff to that big one. will paralyze the target for longer. 
Fill the area with sympathetic magic. Shortens your active cooldown. Sympathetic magic. Launch a salvo of elemental blasts from your staff that homes in on targets ahead of you. But I can only have one of these. For now, yeah. You have to keep leveling up to get all of them if you want all of them. Okay, let's go look at the uh, fire tree. You unleash a massive explosion, leaving enemies in the area burning in agony. <laughs> yeah, why not? Cool. Uh, can I set that to and O? Then, oh, no, no. no. Uh, go back in. Yeah. Uh, you have to apply it, so triangle, to make it solidified. Oh. And there you go. And if you get too many abilities, you can tell that they're abilities that you need to slot when they are triangles. The uh, circles are all passives uh, to make you just stronger. Um, nice. So when you get too many triangle moves, you can. that's when you can be like, oh, I want to map that to this uh, thing instead. Mm -hmm. Uh... So Cassandra's your tank, so that's what you should really be focusing on. So, this. <laughs> um, using techniques perfected by these people, you can't be flanked by enemies. You're less likely, likely to be staggered when hit. You fight all the harder when you're hurting, gaining stamina as you lose health. Your expertise with the shield protects you against range attacks from the front. I'll go into a rage. Well, you have two, so you can choose one more if you like. Oh, how did she get? How did she get? Um. Well, she doesn't have anything in any other tree. So she's at the same level as you, level three. It's just that she doesn't have anything in any other tree because she is just a tank. Sorry, she has one in that tree, Vanguard. She uses a weapon and shield. Not two-handed. So I should be going based off of what weapons she's using? Uh, true. Vanguard and the other one you just passed, um, those can work with any of those trees. Those are more like passive abilities. Mm -hmm. There are some talents you can, like, those are some skills you can use. But mostly they're, um, they're passives to make her either a tank that can also help her allies or just a fucking tank that just baits herself away from or uh, baits other enemies away from their allies mm. so it also just depends on what you like you should read the entire tree if you're going to go into one of them but at a certain point in the game it's a long ways away but at a certain point in the game you can actually um redo all of this as well if you pay uh, some money for it so it is what whatever you want it to be uh, she doesn't have a grappling chain, though. But she can make a grappling chain with this. <laughs> okay. And then go ahead and apply it again. And it'll naturally slot. Oh. And you're good to go. Okay. Varric is a bow guy, but he's also in the sub... Oh, sorry, not subterfuge. Sabotage area. Uh, so you can choose between... Uh, those two, or you can go and, and do subterfuge as well. It just depends on what you would like for him to do and how effective you think that he could be with those different trees. It's so basically mm. poison or uh, more stealthy, stealthy. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm. Skilled. <laughs> uh, is that everybody? I feel like I'm missing somebody. I uh, Solus. There. Is he Solus. should okay. be because he already is. They're kind of already teaching you that he is your healer. So, personally. I just slot him completely healer and just give him like a little bit of uh, like 
weaponry behind him. <laughs> um, I, I choose healer first, and then I go mm. damage for him. But that's me. You can do whatever you like. Hmm. Do I have to apply passive abilities or does it automatically? Automatically. They're okay. passives. And now you are good to go kill. And then basically, so just like you see how there's nothing beside there on the left side now. So basically any time that happens when you're out of combat, you know that someone needs to be leveled up. Okay. Dead end. You could jump over it <laughs> if you want a quick death. Don't do that, please. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I think I learned my lesson last time. Uh, so you have a map? Not that. I fucking lied to you. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Who are we attacking, baby? Let me just... Boom. The quest map. Click it. Just, just... Boom. Boom. So now you get to see everything that's of interest to you oh. on a map. Um, and you can zoom out, you can zoom in back in again. Uh, so basically, um, camps are really good to get you some uh, power, I think, or just like XP points. Um, the more that you look around the map, the more you will find those question mark thingies. Those question mark thingies are amazing, um, and you should always try to look for them. Simply because you get more EXP, or you can get uh, loot, or, you know, anything like that. So you should always, like, look and see for those things. So, I'll tell you now, you... <laughs> That's your trap card. Uh, so you should always, if you get new items, and you'll get, you'll get faster at this in the future, um, you'll realize that you have things for different characters if they use them. So like Le so Varric doesn't use any other bow other than his own. So like you don't need to really need bows. Mm. But uh, if you have, you know, a one-handed weapon which you don't sadly, long swords and sledgehammers are both two-handed weapons. Um, those could go to your other allies. So it's just a good good thing to keep, um, to keep all that in mind when you're finding new stuff. How do I go to the others? Uh, press down on your D-pad. I'm trying, but... Oh, you have to go through... You have to go into weapons or an armor and then press down the D-pad. Nope. No? Nope. That's weird. Huh. You should be able to. Here. Oh, all right. I'll, I'll just take that from you. <laughs> you try. That's very strange. You should be able to move through them freely. Mm. I have... I don't know, baby. You should... Hmm. Mm. You're makes... trying going out and then hitting... Well, the thing isn't up. Oh. Oh, it might be because you're in combat, or you... it looks like you're in combat right now. So, yeah, I... I... 
Yeah, there you go. It was oh. just because you were in combat right now. That's all. Thank you. you oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Azulus. So I can't give him anything else? No. Uh, well, I don't know, actually. I think you can, but, like, it's recommended you just keep him with Bianca because, like, that's his weapon of choice. And he's not very good with anything. Personally, I wouldn't do it. But you can do whatever you want, I'm pretty sure. No, I'll take your advice. All right, and is this thing the staff? Uh, yeah, he's a mage just like you, so he only he does stabs. Nice stuff, Staves. So. Um, so currently you don't have anything else for people. Go down real quick, and I feel like you you gave Cassandra your sledgehammer. Right now, she's still fine. Uh, it's just showing what that would look like on her. Um, but yeah, so you don't need any of those items. You can... Well, uh, hey now, Cassandra could have a recruiter's dirk. Uh, no, she can't. Uh, you can only see it after you go down from it, but the red is what she cannot wield. Uh, oh. And then the longsword oh. and such hammer are both, I think, uh, two-handed weapons. Go down to the longsword, if you like. Oh, no, that's actually one-handed, so if you think that that How is... is... Oh, it's because she's sword and shield. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, it looks like 48. the morning star is better. Huh. Where does it say it's one-handed? I don't know. Uh, go uh, examine it with a uh, square. And that should show you. No. Maybe not. Well, basically, you can tell if it's like actually put on the, that person that it's a two-handed weapon because the and shield it got goes rid away. Of the shield. I see. Okay. Yeah. Inquisition. I have questions. Okay. Uh, okay, what does she have right now? She has the Morning Star, 66. 66. Oh, I see. This is organizing what I was just looking at. I see. How come I can't see my... Um, because I'm in weapons. All right, I can do this. Armor. Da, 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 da. Helmets. What? Uh, so you can press examine again. So the requirements are that she's got to be level six. Yes, but go back to it because there's also other requirements. You have to be an elf, dwarf, or a human, so your character can't wear it. Okay. a lot of uh, level six stuff. I have all the same stuff for everybody. Uh, yeah, to an extent, yeah. Unless somebody else is wearing it at the time, then yes. Okay. Oh, so if I give somebody something, then... It's not there anymore for anyone else. Correct. Oh, gosh. Oh, this just keeps going. All right. Can I... I have to be at a special place to craft. 
Yes. And I need schematics. Correct. You, you're not uh, at that point yet in the story. I have schematics. Yeah, you just picked that one up in the chest you just opened. I can make food? Do I have to make sure I eat? Uh, no. You uh, don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. This is an exclamation mark now. Yeah, because you're close to it now. So you get to, you get to, uh, it changes for you. Picking up leaves. It's... Mother Giselle cannot be far. Well, she's the other way. Relax. She's like the complete other way. La 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 la. Open. What? Looks like it was just a reading thing. Which will take you to a location. Yep. Uh, is what I'm doing timely and I'm going to be in trouble if I don't get there on time? No, this is an RPG, baby. No one gives a <laughs> crap about how long you take to do stuff. A letter in an empty home. Brythus, I know you escaped with the other mages. And I know you'll come here. Father told you that if you ever strayed, he'd put you down himself. If you're here... You know he's dead. But I'm not. I'll be killing apostates and waiting for you at old Fenix place to the north. What the hell? I've got father's sword and my true brothers in the Templars. Come if you're man enough. Ivan. <laughs> what the hell? Interesting reading. Could be worth a look. Uh, I thought you said it was going to teleport me away. Oh no, I'm just saying like that's... Uh, I'm saying that's where you can go. So on your map, there is a point now. This? No. Nope, that's a rift, but you should probably go do that if you think that you're woman enough. Oh my god, <laughs> baby. <laughs> It's just there's a lot happening. Blood Brothers. Yeah, that's the one that you just opened up, yes. Okay, let's go to what I'm closest to. Where's my thing? Uh, da, 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 my goodness. Uh, over here. Okay. Let's go, people. Bum, 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 bum. There's a blue thing over here. There's a couple blue things. What are blue things? Oh, it's an animal, baby. Yep. And you can choose to kill it for, uh, like, hides and meat if you choose, if you want. Uh, but you don't have to. Man, except I... Except for an actual quest or it's something. It's been so long, I don't even remember how to fire. <laughs> I don't even remember how to fire my weapon. I don't know. I'm gonna leave the goats alone. And go get in some real trouble. See, you're doing fine. Do the thing! Oh, prepare for the next wave. Yeah, cool. How do I how do I make it go? It automatically oh uh press uh X to confirm it. And then boom it it just ignited. Whoa. Pretty hot. <laughs> I like that. That was nice. I love traps, yeah. Okay, close. 
Zero out of two. Yes. Mm, uh, green goose line. That's, again, the outskirts. So uh, you can open up your thingy and there's loot all over the ground, sweetie. There's no... There is? Yes. If only there was some sort of orange highlight. <laughs> so rings can be put on anybody. Um, it just depends on what you think the best people versus effects are for them. Okay. Apparently everywhere I go I should just hit that button. Hello? Hello, hello? Is anybody home? <laughs> I think your chimney is uh, a little clogged. It's a little dusty over here. You maybe need to... There's a lot of squash. It's an awful lot of squash. It says there's an exclamation mark here. And yet. And yet. Oh shit, there's a person. Hey! Hey! Templar bastards killed my husband and stole the ring from his finger. They deserve to die. Would you like the ring back? <laughs> You're saying the Templars attacked your husband? Aye. He was digging out a stump. The fools couldn't tell a shovel from a major star. Had to be safe, they said. Rebels everywhere attacking by surprise, sick bastards. They took the ring I gave him on our wedding day in case it was magic. I love how I, like, I can't even help her. I'm just like, hmm, bye then. All right, bye. Farewell. Jesus, that's like... But then look, you get a quest. Recover the farmer's ring <gasps> from the Templars. Yes. The Templars? They don't care who they kill anymore. I will bring you back your husband's wedding ring. Yeah, you will. Yes, I'm going to maybe remember with all of the shit going down right here right now. Actually, there it looks like there's, there's a lot to do in this game, so you you should either do try to do them all, or you should just not care and just do the main story. Depends on you, honestly. Who are we fighting? Uh, looks like a rogue. It must have been some time since the renegade Templars faced the maid of any talent. Yeah, your characters will talk to each other. I mean, I have a ring. How do I know it's not hers? Uh, it would have told you already if it wasn't hers. You could loot that oh, back so there. Oh, so cute! Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Just jumping. Silk! I love how, like, if I'm gonna kill a goat, everybody else loses their mind. <laughs> oh my god, get the goat! That goat's gonna rue the day that it ever trotted around us. I, get, I think it got away. Keep going. You. Yeah, it kept. It got away. Yeah, well, good for it. Anyway. So you should always go back into your map again, or you can follow your mini map there to what your set quest is. Um, so it just depends on what, what you want to actually do with your life. Okay. Uh, That's the main quest, yeah. and everything else is side quests. And if I do the main quest, it's going to take me away from here? Uh, no. It just. It. Sometimes you should be adequately leveled for the main quest. And to do that, you kind of have to do side quests sometimes to get to the main quest status. Okay. Um, doesn't happen all the time. I don't think it happens much in this game, but it does happen. Because they do want you to do. <laughs> they do want you to do the side quests, and they are well thought out. Side quests? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I do that lady's quest, like, here? Or do I have to, like, yeah. go Yeah, go back somewhere? into your map. I'm, well, I'm already... I'm on my way to the Blood Brothers. That's gonna take you a long time, baby, and you're not heading there. You're actually heading back to your camp. No, look, I'm on the way. Oh, this had a dead end in it. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why you don't trust me with these things. I do trust you. I just don't know. So, uh, go out. There's an exclamation mark here. There we go. All right. So, look around. Red cliff. Look around those little diamonds. Nope. Go back down to the right. And that's the quest for the lady. Oh, I was just there. I was just there. Okay. Oh. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness gracious. 
Bum, 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 bum. Terrain. So we're just going around killing apostates, but we want them on our side. No, uh, apostates are mages that are rogue from the, from basically human Black Black civilization. They are not good people. Uh, loot, loot. Some mages are called apostates just because. Um, others are called apostates just because people are racist, not racist. They're they're not racist. The uh, mages are not a race of people. Um, they are uh, prejudice. Prejudice. Thank you. They are prejudice against mages. They call them all apostates. Mm. I think if I remember the lore correctly, I might be mistaken though. Stronghold of the apostate mages. Let the fools in Redcliffe play the good mage, as they always do. We know the truth. This world is ours to conquer, and every worthless peasant who threw a stone, every Templar who glared in disappointment at our harrowing deserves to know it. Follow the trail to the Witchwood and find your brothers. An unsigned letter. The scratch handwriting almost too sloppy to read. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. <gasps> I did it myself. Um, there's something shiny. Yeah, there is. What is that? It is looks that? like elder root. It is. It is As elf it, root. Absolutely not what they're talking about. That's adorable. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that called? Astrarium. Let's go look at the stars. You're so fucking smart. Why? I had no idea what the, what an astrarium was when I first started this game. Granted, I started this game like years ago when I was like a child. Like but astronomy. Like, yeah, now I understand, but like I didn't understand when I was like or astro. This came out like what 2017, so I was oh god, I don't, I don't know. 2017. I was in my twenties, but I didn't I, understand what the hell an astrarium astra was. That's okay. all. Astrariums allow you to unlock the secrets of the heavens. I think you're so fucking smart. That's all. <laughs> oh, thank you, baby. Recreate the image of the constellation by connecting the stars without making the same line twice. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, also on the, on the far right below shows you what it's supposed to look like. Oh. So that shows you right there that it's not supposed to look like that. How do I undo? Uh, uh, restart. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> Fine. There's gonna be a really fun mini game, I think. <laughs> you just like to see me struggle. No, I just think that you're adorable when you do struggle. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Lucky for you, I do not tend to struggle. Damn, baby. Smart. You're super fucking smart. I'm smart. I love you. But I sound adorable. And that is how I trick people. Judex, depicted as the downward sword, the constellation Judex is oft <laughs> called the sword of mercy in common parlance. Even though the sword image was assigned to these stars long before Andraste's time, Judex referred to the concept of justice in ancient Tevinter. Did I skip a line? I keep skipping lines. Da, da, these stars long... Is, uh, da, no? 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 Okay, cool. Um, 
Judex referred to the concept of justice in ancient Tevinter and the damned aspect of the sword indicated a guilty verdict. Oh, Lord. Which, in those times, generally translated to execution. <laughs> Obviously, with its modern meaning and use as a symbol by the Templar Order, Obviously, because I know. The old interpretation is frowned upon in scholarly circles from a study of the Theodosian astronomy by Sister Oran Petrakius. <gasps> it looks like it blinds people. So I'm going to tell you right now, what? you need three of those to lead to something important. <gasps> Just at all or in each land? In each land. Oh, fun. Fun. Okay, I'm gonna get that lady's ring back. That's what I'm up to. Whose <gasps> ring? Soft enemies. Uh, the lady. Oh, I see. Her husband's ring. Oh, you said elf. Move, goat! That poor goat. <gasps> oh, don't mind if I do. I have the high ground. I can't see anything. I don't know who I'm fighting. Burn! <laughs> uh, how do I take a potion? How do I take a potion? I think it's L1. Yeah, it's L1. Mm. Let me just... There's a Shut cave that. nearby. Yeah, there's a fucking cave. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go spelunking. There is a, is some... a carcass. Yeah, there you go. Good job. You found it. You sound found some sick mining material. Not every dwarf likes caves. <laughs> Racist. What? He's a why dwarf. Would every, why would every dwarf like caves? Because it's a stereotype. Because they live in caves. Do they? Because I'm pretty sure I've seen a dwarf with a house. I, I think we've actually read why they some of them don't live in caves, sweetie pie. Oh my god. What is this creature doing? Oh, it's trying to run away from you because it doesn't want to die. Why don't you read this for me, sweetie? A letter found on a dead dwarf. I need you to check a cave up in the hills off the path between Redcliffe and Haven. If you can get past the mages and Templars, it's worth it. Purest vein I've ever seen so close to the surface. A.K.A. Great loot! <laughs> Alright, I think we should uh, check that out too. Yes. Maybe next time? Oh, sure. <laughs> Have a great Thanksgiving, guys. And uh, see you guys in the next video. We love you. Bye! Bye!